welcome you to Orca Stadium. I've been an animal trainer for seven years, and I can tell you it is more than just a job. It truly is a way of life. We have all dedicated our professional and personal lives to the care of these amazing animals. It's a huge responsibility, but the ultimate privilege to care for, teach, learn from, and build strong relationships with these amazing killer whales. We're excited to share everything we've learned through those relationships with all of you today and for many years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Orca Encounter!
problem solving abilities. CC users keep their hands both active and engaged. The world's good riddles have inspired generations to care about our natural world. And we're excited to share their stories with all of you today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's food web. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, the killer whale. Killer whales are as big as a bus, faster than an Olympic swimmer. High flying and power. We're going to see all that today and more. These and other behaviors provide an environment full of enrichment. We spend days, weeks, months, and years building relationships with our whales. This creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood, or step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Throughout today's experience, you're going to see the whales move together in unison. These synchronized behaviors help strengthen social bonds and allow them to problem solve as a group. This is just another reason why we're known as the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is their scientist orca. Their common name is killer whale. Our five whales have their own personal names. Our three females, Kapara, Safari, and Kamea, Joining us out front are our two males, Kayuka and Tuar. Kamea is our youngest whale at just 10 years old, and Tapara is our oldest whale at 33 years old. Tapara is also the maker of our pod, which means she's the leader. These whales trust us and play an active role in their own health and well being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we teach them husbandry or healthcare behaviors. And joining us now to slide out to demonstrate some of those behaviors are trainers Kylan and Setsi. One of the first behaviors we teach our whales is called a hoop present, with the whale to give their tail hoop to the trainer. This behavior not only allows us to look over the entire ventral side of the whale's body, it also allows us to see the shallow veins that run along the white underside of their tail hoop. Our veterinarians take blood samples from these veins at least once a month. And as you can see, our whales are conditioned to remain calm throughout the entire process. Throughout today's presentation, you're going to see the trainers do the whales' tail massages, back rubs, and even pectoral massages. Killer whales have very sensitive skin, and this is just one way that we can build and maintain a relationship with our whales. Now, not only is collecting blood one important diagnostic tool that we use, another important diagnostic tool is how much each animal weighs. Once a week, just like Kayuka is doing over here, we'll ask our whales to bring their entire bodies up and out of the water onto a whale sized scale in one of our back habitats. So you can see from Kayuka's dorsal fin to his scale flutes, a large portion of his body is still in the water. That area is called his pedunkle and it consists of several large muscles weighing hundreds of pounds. So in order to get an accurate weight, we'll ask our whales to lift their tails up and out of the water. And this is how we know that as of this week, Kayuki is weighing in over 9,800 pounds. It is important to weigh older whales to ensure that our younger whales, like Kamea, are growing appropriately and the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital. And we surprise and engage with our whales every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt. And for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Observational learning and mimicry play a critical role in the life of a killer whale. From the moment they are born, they learn necessary life skills by watching and playing follow leader with their mother or other pod members. Here at SeaWorld, they even play follow leader with us by mimicking our 
improvement. So let's have all of our audience members put a big hand in the air just like me. Give to our and how you get a big wave hello. Wow.
for all of us. We will continue to learn about the amazing